In the intellectual property space, there's always a scenario where you may need to license somebody else's IP. Particularly in the world of copyright, whether you're licensing photos, videos, or music, there may be a license fee that is negotiated between the licensor, the person that owns that copyright material, and the licensee, the person that wants to use that copyrighted material. But then there comes one specific clause that happens every so often, which is that a licensor will ask for a Most Favored Nations Clause. Most Favored Nations Clause are not uncommon, especially in the entertainment space. But essentially the premise of them is that they operate as anti-discrimination clauses, where essentially the licensor is asking that they would be paid no different than any other licensor that is licensing equivalent material. So to put most favored nations clauses into perspective, let's assume that you're a documentarian and you've licensed archival video from three different companies. Company A licensed it to you for $10,000, company B licensed it to you for $5,000, and company C licensed it to you for $2,000. Company D comes in and they have archival video as well that you want to license. They could quote a license fee of $5,000 or Most Favored Nations. And in this case, the Most Favored Nations clause will kick in because what they want is equity. They would want to be paid the highest equivalent license fee that's already being paid, which in this case is company A, who's getting paid $10,000 for archival material. I will say that the opinion of Most Favored Nations clauses varies depending on what side of the table you're on. For licensees, they could see that this might be a cost prohibitive measure, but if you're a creator or you own copyrighted material, most of your nation's clauses could actually lead to a good payday for you. For more related content, be sure to follow the IP Professor, and thanks for watching.